YouTube, what's good, man? I know it's been a minute. We're back with another video. I got five tips for y'all to be able to build your mutt team, make as many coins as possible, and just have a sustainable team. I know it's a lot of people that are going to be getting the game now that we're in the holiday season with Black Friday coming up, Christmas coming up. So I thought it would be the perfect time to come back, drop some tips for y'all, some tips and tricks, and be able to help y'all out. So if any of these help you out in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get into it. So the first thing that I have for you guys is that ratings don't matter. And what I mean by that is they don't matter as much as what you think. I'm just going to show you guys my team. Again, my team is, is pretty good. It's not the greatest, but I don't want you guys to get caught up in the fact that you have to have the latest and greatest teams to have success. I'm going to show you guys something here. So ignore my defense right now. So I personally, again, I've gotten a lot better at the game, but I've now three weeks in a row got the highest much champs rewards. And I've also finished a gauntlet. Um, I went 10 and one. So what I do, what I'm saying, it has a little bit of merit to it, but just take it with a grain of salt, especially if you're learning how to play it so far. So let's just talk about it position by position, right? O-line. I personally think at least at this stage in the year, O-line isn't that important. I'm not saying to go out there with just a horrible offensive line, but you have to have some sort of a baseline to have a decent O-line. I'm not saying to go get the latest and greatest, but I have success with this O-line. The more important thing is that you have proper blitz pickups, you have proper pass protection. That's the most important thing. If you're able to pick up blitzes, your O-line, at least at this stage of the year, does not really matter that much. Again, I'm not saying to go out there and go get the go get some sorry ones, but I would say at the minimum, just make sure you have about 86 across, 86s to 87s across the board at minimum. You don't have to have 92, 93s. We, we, you, you don't need all that right now. The next thing that I'm going to say why ratings don't matter is because, as you guys can see, I have... Like, I have good wide receivers. They're not crazy. This Jalen Hyatt is a 89-90 with, with a theme team, and, you know, the boost that I have. Rating isn't as high. Just because he's an 89 doesn't mean, you know, he's going to be bad. I have a 92. I know we're, we're at the stage where we have 93s right now. But if we go take a look over here, and I want you guys to – I'll link it in the description. I want you guys to take a look and see. We actually have a great website. I know most of y'all probably know it, but in case you don't, mutt.gg, Okay. This website is gonna be your best friend. It's gonna tell you prices of cards, it's gonna tell you theme teams, it's gonna tell you everything. It's gonna tell you the animation on the card, the stats on the card, etc. What we're gonna focus on is animations, right? This is Amon Ross St. Brown. This is a card that I have on my team. He has default running style. I'm telling you, default running style, as crazy as it seems, I don't know the best running style, but default seems to be the best. I'm pretty sure that's like one of the best, if not the best, um, like sort of movement styles. Same thing with this Eric Ebron. He has default stride loose. Same thing with this George Kittle, default stride loose. I'm telling you, even though this card has 91 speed, he moves so much faster than 91 speed. This card is gonna have, it, it, they're gonna be so much faster. Now a card like Randy Moss, he also has 91 speed, but he is gonna feel a little bit slower. He's not gonna be able to turn as quickly just because he has a different running style. He has a long stride loose. So that's what I'm saying. These, these players that have these long strides, especially on the offense, they don't really move as well. I'm not saying they're bad cards, but at least for the way that I like to play and the way that I recommend people play, just play what fits your play style, right? If this Randy Moss, if you like to throw high balls a lot, or you like to, you know, utilize your receiver's heights, go for that. You know, you may not really notice long stride loose, you know, as much as somebody like me. I like to have my receivers be fast. I don't really care about anything else. I want them to be as fast as possible and that, you know, kind of ties into it again like i'm saying these cards have all have around the same speed but for some reason again i don't really know why but the cards that have default running style it seems they seem to move a lot quicker than 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 uh the cards with long strides so, yeah and that's why i'm saying ratings don't matter as much as what you guys think you don't have to have the latest and greatest cards it's all dependent on how you play so switching back over to uh to my xbox screen let me go ahead and move back over here so the next tip that I have for you guys is only get what you need. You guys don't have to go fill out all your receivers with the best cards and everything like that. I mean, it will help for things like kickoff, kick returns, and you know things like that, but marginally, it doesn't really matter that much. A lot of people fumble on kickoff, so a lot of times people don't even take the, the kickoffs back. So the second tip that I have for you guys is to only get what you need, right? So the scheme that I, that I run mainly is gonna be three wide receivers, a running back, 
than a tight end. I don't really run the ball. So that's why I don't really have the latest and greatest running back. I don't really need it. I only need it if I'm in like the red zone or if I'm in a dire situation to kind of, you know, uh, throw my opponent off. But I mainly throw the ball. I, again, at most have three wide receivers and I only have one tight end. Sometimes I have two, which is why I have Kyle Pitts. But mainly my main offense I sit in is three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. And as you guys can see, I kind of filled them out with the rest of them. Now, you guys can kind of see I have, you know, a lot of team builders and stuff. And that'll go into my later point that I make about theme teams. But only get what you guys need, right? So the same thing goes for defense. I run a nickel package, nickel 3-3 odd. So what that means is 3-3 odd. So 3-3 odd, odd is just the way they, they align their uh, the defense. I'm not going to get into football terminology. But 3-3 odd. So 3-3 means three down linemen so my three down linemen is going to be Dwight Freeney, Nadama Kinsu, Kyle Vandenbosch now I'm not saying that the rest of them don't matter but don't really matter because a lot of them don't really see the field most of the time so at most I only have three down linemen I have three linebackers um at least in my scheme I sub my safeties in so this is why I have an extra safety here but the point being I only have three three uh linebackers so I need to have one safety one linebacker an extra linebacker so i don't need to have extra linebackers um i do have some decent linebackers because again i, I th there there are some other formations where i do need outside linebackers but i don't ask for them to much like to do much so i don't really value that position as much now the, the position that i value the most is my secondary because again we play a lot of coverage defense i play a lot of zone so i put a, a very high priority on my DBs, which is why I have some of the better DBs. Like, but again, at most, like I was saying before, I have three cornerbacks. I don't need a fourth and a fifth cornerback because most of the time I'm not going to go into packages that require more than three. If that do, I'm going to make some more adjustments and we're going to put a safety somewhere and things like that. But it, again, it just goes back to what I was saying, what, what your scheme is. So I'll sub in this Mukwamu as a sub linebacker and I'll sub in, I have... Um, Brian Dawkins as a sub linebacker. I will also then put my Isaiah Simmons. He has Lurk Artist. Really good zone coverage. So, again, I play a lot of zone. He, he's going to play a lot of zone coverage. So, this guy, he plays zone so well. And he does his thing. So, again, that's kind of why I do that. You know, I have just Josh Hans Allen and Bud Dupree as kind of like run stoppers. They kind of just do that. They play that role. They come out in like the 6 1. Again, I'm kind of getting deeper into. You know football terminology but y'all get what i'm saying only get what you need you oh you do not have to get the latest and greatest but only get what you need so the next thing that i'm going to recommend is staying ahead of the trend so we're going to go back over here to mutt uh mutt.gg and i will go ahead and show you guys so the the most recent um promo it's the time of me recording this video is all Madden. So I'm going to use this Troy Vincent as an example, right? Troy Vincent, when he first came out, you can see the price when he first came out. 530 and then he dropped all the way down to 446. He came back up and then went back down again. So me personally, I don't usually buy cars when they first come out because that's when they're going to be their most expensive. You know, the very next day his price came down. So I bought, I bought here. I got lucky. I bought here. The next portion of the promo actually came out on November 25th. And that's when his price came back down to his normal price. But as you can see, it did spike up. So because I knew that all men came out, the, the next, the next part of the promo is going to come out because I knew that if we take a look over here, if we go to Twitter and we go over here to the mutt page, let's go over here to the mutt page, right? So we got to see that all Madden was coming out. We saw that 20, 21 hours ago, you know, we see this too. So we basically could see ahead for this week what, and we can plan, you know, us selling our cars. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place right now. So I'm going to get back into what I was saying. All Madden, let's focus on all Madden. So we have release two and release three. So the point is it's, it's simple, simple, simple supply and demand. So when he first comes out, he's going to be very high demand. There's not going to be very much supply. After you give it a couple hours, his price is going to go down, which is why he goes down the next day, so on and so forth. Now, when the next portion of the promo comes out, 
there's going to be more pull because there's going to be more people trying to pull for the new cars that come out. But now this Troy Vincent is considered old because he came out in the first release, which means there's going to be more supply of him. So that's going to make his price go down. And what I mean by staying ahead of the trend is make sure you sell the card before that happens so that you can make as much coins as you can and then buy it back for a cheaper price. So you're essentially making coins off of a card that you bought. That's the easiest way that I can explain it to you guys. I know I'm probably like rambling all over the place, but hopefully that makes sense. And that applies for any promo. It's not going to be a foolproof thing, but if you guys just, you know, stick with it. Try to make sure to protect, to pay attention to um, to market trends using Mutt GG. You can stay on top of things and be able to make coins literally off of just selling your players back and bringing them back. So the next portion of what we're talking about, these are going to be a lot shorter. So I know I've been rambling a lot in this video. You're going to want to go over here and do your solos. Solos are some of the most important things. I know they're like boring for most people, but they're very rewarding, honestly. Um, all Madden really isn't important, but what I, what I am going to focus on is team of the week, team builders, AKAs, and legends. These four sets of uh, solos you guys are going to want to do. Okay, So let's start over here at legends. I haven't you know, been keeping up with legend ones, but if you continually play these legend challenges, I think... At least as it stands right now, the time we're recording the video, you can at least get two free legends. I don't know if it's three, but you can at least get two. Now, this refreshes every time more legends come out. So if you want to wait until, you know, your favorite legend comes out, like, I don't know if they come out with a, uh, I know they came out with a Tom Brady, but let's say they come out with, a, I don't know, a Peyton Manning legend card, right? And you want that. You can save your tokens until that Peyton Manning comes out. Or if you have a card that you want, that's, a, you know, a previous release. You can get a free card. There's two free legends. So you can literally get two free cards just from doing that. Same thing with AKAs. We know that AKAs are not sunsetted, but they, they said we're not going to get that anymore. Obviously, I haven't you know, caught up with these, but I've already redeemed my AKAs. I think you can either get, again, two or three free AKAs. There's some good AKAs that, the J, you know, JJ Watt. Yeah, you can get these free cards. You can go get a free Johnny Manziel. You can go get a free JJ Watt. You can go get a free Amon Ross St. Brown, Ted Hendricks, Icky, uh, George Kittle, Deion Sanders. I got a free Deion, and I think the other AKA I used was Tyreek. Obviously, he doesn't play anymore because, you know, he's not as good. But, you know, deon has been on my team for now at least a month, I believe. So I, I've used this card for a decent amount of time. It may not have been a month, maybe three weeks. I don't know. But the point being is that this card has been in my lineup for a while. And some of these cards can probably be in your lineup for, for a little while. So I, I think, you know, doing the solos are very important. Um, the same thing can be said about uh, the team builders. These team builders will kind of go into my last point, but you get a free 86, you get a team builders tokens, you get free 87 and a free, I, think, I thought it was a free 88, but there's, there's there's free cards in here too. Again, you can go get old lineman here. You can go get an old lineman. That's where I got my old lineman from, my 86 and 87. Um, I picked the old lineman, free, two free old linemen, literally from just doing these challenges and they're not hard. So um, definitely do these. And the last set of uh, solos you're going to want to do, go over here to the team of the week make sure you do these again i haven't been doing them i'm gonna make sure i catch up here at some point but um at the end of the year they always drop a team of the year and if you do all of these i'm pretty sure you get a free team of the year which at that point in the year i think it's gonna be like 98 96 97s around there you get you get a free 90 97 plus basically if you do all these and you, you know you don't have to do them before it comes out but it probably makes the most sense to keep up with these as, as best as you can so that way you don't have to scramble you know, when it first comes out, you can go get the card as soon as possible. But do your solos, man. I'm serious. Do your solos. It's very important that you actually do them. Some, some of them actually give good rewards. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is theme teams. This is going to be the last tip. Number five, we got theme teams. So right now, I'm actually rocking triple theme teams. Okay. It is going to cost you a decent amount of coins if you want to do this, but trust me, it's worth it. Once you get like your baseline team and you're making coins off of the things that I said and, you know, playing the game, etc., you can make this. So what you're going to want to do a lot of the times, you want to get as many team builders as you can. Again, like I mentioned before with the team builder tokens, you get these cards, they give you double um double theme teams now the team diamonds also do this those are more expensive i'm more so focusing on team builders because the team builders these like light bluish greenish cards 
they give you times two, which will make it easier to build a theme team. I'm not saying to make, you don't have to do a triple theme team, but you should at least have one theme team. I don't know whether it's your favorite team, whether you want to use the best theme team, whatever you can afford. It doesn't really matter, but you get a plus one speed boost if you get your theme teams all the way up, um, you know, to, to the highest thing. So it doesn't, no, it does. So here, I can show you guys over here. Um, you can see, let me move my face cam out of the way. As you can see on this left side right here, when you get 20 of a certain team, you get one speed. That one speed doesn't really make that big of a difference, but in a sense, it kind of does make a difference. If we're being honest, it kind of does make a difference. And especially with your skill positions, you're gonna want you're gonna want that. So the reason why I mentioned team builders as well, because I have three theme teams and I have free slots to be able to use. So as you guys can see, I have essentially two free slots from Washington Commanders and Lions. I could take two cards out and put other players in. They're not gonna get the theme team boost, but I can use it. So a card like Andrew Luck, even though he's not on my theme team, it's one of the best cards in the game to me. I think he's better than, you know, a card like Johnny Menzel. I just prefer his release. He's got Gunslinger gift wrap. That's all I need. You know what I'm saying? Super easy. The other thing mentioned in theme teams, you're going to want to max out your captain, uh, your captains. So if you go over here, um, I'll explain why in a minute. But if you go over here to the field pass and scroll down here to team captains, you're going to want to go over here to your objectives and do this. These track in any game mode, you can literally load up solo challenges and just spam this and do everything you need to do. Again, for these as well, it tracks in any game mode, do all these challenges. Now the head to head and everything just win games. I mean, you could do solo season. You don't have to play online. So you literally can max out your captains by literally not playing an online game and getting all these captain tokens and upgrading them. This is very important because let me show you what I mean. So because we have triple theme teams, these captains get three different theme teams that you can apply to them. So this Pat Tillman gets three separate boosts of theme teams, which means he gets three separate plus ones to speed. So he goes from 91 to 94 speed. I understand he's only a five. He, he's not even six foot. He's like five foot 11 and height is very important, man. But trust me, this card plays amazing. I think this is the best th team captain in the game for good reason especially if you are going to run one two or even three theme teams he's going to have top end speed to be able to play that safety position not get burnt over the top and be able to do good as well and if you max out your uh team captains you also can get a kicker that gets double so that'll also help you for your theme teams as well again the most important thing out of all this is that you're going to want the plus one speed that's very important for your skill positions you're going to want that well so that is going to wrap up the video i know it's been i've been talking for a long time hopefully some of these tips helped you out they did in any way shape or form it'd be greatly appreciated let me know down in the comment section let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel subscribe man we're gonna keep dropping videos i'm back on youtube i'm gonna try to get it back in my bag man i appreciate y'all man hopefully you have a good good day thanksgiving is coming up i hope y'all have a good holiday as well man i appreciate y'all for all the love we'll catch y'all in the next video Peace.